as long as you're only selling the product and you don't have to sign up people below you, then I think you should certainly explore the schemes. Wendy's question was, you know, is is MLM right for her? Is that product right for her? Uh, and I, uh, I mean, I've spoken about this a couple of times on the lives before. I am a fan of the concept of of MLM businesses, multi-level marketing businesses, for you know, for certain people, you know, as long as that product is right for you. Uh, and MLM gets a bad name, gets a bad name for a couple of reasons. Uh, obviously, one is I think you know it's 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 automatically incorrectly associated as being a pyramid scheme, being a you know kind of a Ponzi scheme. Uh, and yes, admittedly, um, you know some of the products out there, some of the schemes out there um, are probably unviable. Uh, but that, obviously that's your job to you know to try and ascertain which you know which ones work and which ones don't. And also again, I, you know, I think a lot of people who are in MLM businesses uh, you know get get the reputation of just being really annoying salespeople. You know trying to trying to drum down uh, drum down your throat a product that you don't want to buy. Uh, for me, the pros of an MLM business are that every you know if you're starting out in business and you've got little very little capital available to you. Uh, you know what? What I always recommend is that you want to be selling a product. You're know, selling somebody else's product, uh, ideally a high margin product, so that you can go out there and generate yourself an income. Um, and normally, that is the you know that is the theory. That is the case. You know, with with, with a lot of these MLM MLM businesses. Um, but uh, you know, and and also all of the stuff is taken care of for you. Uh, you know, so you don't have to design a product. You don't have to design a branding and a packaging. You don't have to take care of of um, of finances and accounting and all that kind of stuff. You know, all the systems and and all the you know the product development, the research and development, everything is being done for you. So all you need to do is sell is sell the product. You know, do your marketing and do your sales. Uh, so I think you know the the right MLM scheme is potentially very good for you know for certain people i think it's, you know for, for me the important things to understand are you know to really get your head around the economics of each of each one of the schemes you know it's really important to, to for me the distinction between the ones that work and the ones that don't work are where you can deem that it's completely viable just to sell the product without having to recruit other people underneath you because again, for, you know, for anyone who doesn't doesn't know about this, uh, you know, when when you sell product in a in a multi level marketing type business, you can sell both the product itself directly to a consumer, or you can bring in layers below you, layers of other salespeople. So you can bring in another uh, bring in another salesperson under you, and then all of the sales that they make, um, you get you get a little commission from those as well. Um, but and whilst again that may that is a viable income stream for certain people, you know, a lot of people you know are not able to recruit salespeople under them, and they can only just sell to the end user. Uh, and I think it's, you know you've got to make sure that you've got a product that people want to buy, so that you're not forced to recruit new people underneath you. You know, for me, that's the distinction between what you know what's what's a, a scam and what isn't. You know, what's a pyramid scheme and what isn't. Um, and I think it's also really important that you that you believe in the product as well, um, because you know you, you've you've got to have a product that you kind of love and can and can passionately represent. You know, I mean, p- people have approached me in the past to 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 ask me to sell product for them. Uh, I've I've never actually t- I've never taken one on. I've been interested to try it, you know, to try it just so I can talk about it more. Because you, as you, I always say, I only like to talk about things that I know and understand. Um, but like for example, I've I've been offered uh, some of the female beauty products, and I mean for me, what is the point? You know, it's a product that I can't I can't vouch for, I can't use, I can't believe in in any way. So um, you know, I'm going to be a terrible advocate for it, a terrible salesperson. But um, you know, if you can find if you can find a product that you believe in uh, with economics that work, as long as you're only selling the product and you don't have to sign up people below you, then I think you should certainly explore the schemes.